Mental health is a subject that we seldom talk about within church, but it really is an important and a pertinent issue today. Just this week, our health CS, uh, CS Mutai Kagwe, spoke of con the government's concern over the rising cases of anxiety and mental health disorders as the cases of COVID in the country continue to rise. And so the question is, in the midst of such you know, trial and distress and these difficult times that we're going through individually, collectively, nationally, how can we actually sustain and keep our minds in perfect peace? Hey there, my name is Joyce Somondi Waihiga. Welcome to Sitem Church Online. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 speaks of perfect peace and it says this you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you that right there is a great promise and a great assurance um, delivered in that verse it tells us that there actually is a thing like perfect peace and that we can actually have it and even be kept in it. That's an amazing, amazing assurance for us today. The scripture then reveals that it is actually a matter of the mind because it is saying that those who have perfect peace are the ones whose minds are stayed on Jesus Christ and so when it comes to matters of faith and salvation the mind is essential it absolutely matters what the health the state of our mind is and there's many different scripture references to these and let me share a few Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 talks about us loving the Lord our God with all our mind this all our heart all our soul all our mind and then in romans chapter 12 verse 2 it talks about us being renewed by the transforming of our you guessed it mind then we have first corinthians chapter 2 verse 16 and philippians chapter 2 verse 5 which also refer to us now having the mind of christ and philippians chapter 3 19 that we are not to set our mind on earthly things but to set our mind on things above that's then in colossians chapter 3 verse 2 so clearly the scriptures understand that the mind is an essential part of our walk with jesus christ which then ultimately speaks to our eternal hope our blessed assurance and that sort of resolve to keep going because we know that he has tomorrow in his hands and so given how important our minds are to our faith how then can we keep our minds in perfect peace the scripture says in in isaiah 26 verse 3 that it is the one whose mind is stayed upon jesus in other words the person or rather the place and the source of perfect peace is Jesus Christ. When our minds are stayed, that means when they are established, when they are solidified in him, when they are sustained, settled in him, we find perfect peace. And so stayed is, is actually not referring to a temporary visit. This is not an occasional state of being this is saying that this is where we find our belonging this is home home is within jesus okay so this is not something we're transiting through this is a resolve this is a day-to-day -day resolution and a way of life to constantly choose jesus in the midst of everything else that our minds could be focused on okay so the scripture continues to say, because he trusts in you. This person, their mind is stayed upon on, on, on you because they trust in you. And so the one who has their mind stayed on Jesus has perfect peace. 
meaning the one who trusts in Jesus has perfect peace. And that is something that we, I think today, have to actively decide to do and just deliberately decide to practice. The enemy will look for all sorts of ways to distract us from thinking about God and and to focus all our energies on him. You know, we'll be looking at the news and it's so depressing and we're looking at these numbers and how people are struggling around us. Maybe your next door neighbor, maybe you yourself. Um, And so the question really is, what is sustaining your mind? We don't know how much longer we're going to be in this sort of state and situation. So what is going to be sustaining your mind? What is going to be establishing your mind? What is going to settle your mind? Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it anxiety? Or is it going to be the word of God? Is it going to be his faithfulness? Is it going to be his love and his care and the assurance that he has you and will not let you down? I'd love to hear what you think about this. Um, Even as we reflect on that question together, um, where is our mind today and who has it? You know, what is sustaining it today, even as we continue to grapple with the times? Please reach out to us on our social media at Sitam Church Online and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. Until next time, God bless you and have a wonderful week.